Welcome back, episode 3 with Sampdoria Career Mode. And today I thought we we're gonna talk about our center backs. And lucky for us, we have one player on loan from us, a young David Veroli, 21 years old. Also, one backup center back, Alessandro Riccio, but he is really backup. We're talking about our center back who we're gonna play with this year is Simone Robagnoli, 34 years old veteran. Uh, he's the one for now and I think he fits for a plan this season at least. We also have Stipe Vulicic, uh, 23 years old. Uh, could be something in the future but I don't know, is he a Serie A defender? Not sure, but for Serie B, I think he's good enough. And finally on our three center back we have Alex Ferrari, 30 years old, also a little bit on the older side, could maybe play two seasons for us, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I think our center back uh, needs some more players, especially if we think in the future for Serie A, because I don't think any of these three are really Serie A caliber. They're good enough for Serie B, and I'm happy to have them this season. But maybe yeah, in the January window, we need to add at least one more so we don't have a problem if they get some injuries or something like that. The stage is set and the tension is palpable. 90 minutes of what should be highly entertaining and absorbing football to come. And it would take a very brave person indeed to predict the outcome. What an enticing prospect. Join us for all the action next on EA TV. A warm welcome to you and thanks for joining us for another game live on EA TV. I'm Guy Mowbray and alongside me for commentary is Sue Smith. We've got a game coming up from Serie B. What are we going to get from this one, Sue? Well, it's been a bit of a mixed start to the campaign for the visitors. They'll have wanted more, but of course it could have been worse. They need to make sure that they don't slip up again today. And it's key that they're organised in and out of possession. Let's see if they can get the result that they want. Here's how the home side lines up. Well, it looks to be a 3-4-2-1. It should be quite compact when they're out of possession, you'd think. It's just how are they going to handle those transitions, though, once they do recover the ball? Here's the Sampdoria team sheet. Yeah, they also look to be in a similar shape with that 3-4-2-1 system. I just wonder how that's going to develop over the course of the 90 minutes. You've got to presume that those wide midfielders will become more adventurous as the game goes on.
That was a wonderful chance. Oh, they should have taken the lead there, and what a good start that would have been. Good vision. To put them ahead. And there's the first goal of the match. Deadlock broken. Missing position this. What a chance! Oh, great work from the keeper to avert the danger. A chance to get something going here. Is this the equaliser? Well, that's what he's there for. It's a good stop. And that'll do it. The end of the first 45 minutes here. Well, he's certainly had a decent game so far, or maybe better than that. I think it's fair to say he hasn't disappointed. Well, it was certainly a good 45 minutes. Obviously got the goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully see a little bit more of that in the second half. Gets passed really nicely. Real opportunity, and the ball is still alive. A goal that draws them back on level terms. Well, here's the replay. And he does really well. He takes his man on with ease. And the movement is good to get on the end of it. And it's a simple finish in the end. breaks down the ref allowing the game to flow and able to come away with the ball oh could be a chance here can he finish oh he tried to power it in when composure was surely the key Possibly the chance to go in front. Really good pass. What a chance. And it's there. What a moment to take the lead. If we watch this again, it's a really good finish. He goes for precision rather than power, and the keeper's got no chance. And the referee brings the game to a close, with the points going back with the visitors. Well, they were really pushing in the end and all that hard work paid off. Always feels great to win so late on. You've got to praise their character and their fitness levels too. It's a great result, that. Well, as we know, he can be a real handful and he's certainly been that today. Well, I thought he had a good all-round performance. Obviously capped off with the late winner. An extremely important moment in the match and boy, did he deliver.
well, 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 what a game, right? And uh, I can feel the positive uh, feeling in the dressing room after this game. The start was not that good, but we came back, we showed some spirit today, and the last minute goes by Lagumina. Wow, that was a strike, right? He really showed us that he wants more playtime, so uh, that is something I have to look into if uh, maybe he and uh, Koda will maybe share the time more than I was thinking, but uh, yeah, Lagumina really showed some spirit today. Uh, three points to us, uh, we are in a really good stress right now. Can we keep it up? I don't know. We're still in the beginning of uh, the season, but uh, we are learning more and more how to use um, this play style we want to play with the tactics. And uh, um, I think we are on something, uh, but uh, like you said, it's a little bit too early to say anything special. Uh, let's see after some more games. This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long. And now for the action. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray. And sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we've got potentially exciting league action coming up on the menu for you. It's Sampdoria and they take on Pisa. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully, we're not disappointed. And the initial 11 for Sampdoria. Well, it's a 3-4-2-1 with two players behind the centre forward, but they need to link up as much as possible. They're going to be key to the way this system works. Otherwise, the centre forward could become isolated. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, same system, but different types of players, which will make for an interesting contest here. Who wins the battle out wide will probably win the game. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place. But give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. Smooth in possession. Trying to open up the defence. And a goal it is! They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Yeah, they're playing really well here. They've controlled the flow of the game, they've won their individual battles, and they've created numerous chances. Their only problem in the second half could be complacency, but I can't see that happening. So there goes the half-time whistle, and the visitors find themselves behind at the break. Well, as we've talked about, they struggle scoring goals, so it's going to be really difficult for them to get back into this. 30 minutes left for play. 
sliding in and winning the ball. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? So, a corner here. Who can they pick out? Well, really, it had to be further away from the keeper. Just the challenge that was required. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. And he did well to cut it out. Stefano Moreo. He's got to score! And a decent save, full credit. They've regained possession. Oh, he's got for goal! Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Still possibilities. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends. But they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Do we like winning? Of course we do. And uh, three points. Uh, yeah, I, I, I take it. Um, first half, really good, really good. Uh, I really like the way we played. And we scored two goals because we played well. Uh, but uh, the way we come out in the second half, playing a little too hard, uh, choosing not the easy pass or always do a little bit harder, a little more classy like this. Uh, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't like the second half and uh, Pisa almost uh, punished us with that uh, in the end. But uh, we managed to hold out and got another three points. So I gotta take it and uh, we're learning more and more about our players. And yeah, I got, I got some players I really like and looking forward to have. But the defense overall have been looking good in, at the start of the season. And you need a good defense to work. You have to start there before you start to work with the, the offensive side. But uh, yeah, three points, we take it. Let's keep on going. Match day is upon us, fans are pouring into the stadium, anticipation has reached an all-time high. All the action here on EA TV. Well, the weather really couldn't be any better here today. A very warm welcome to you on this fine day. My name's Guy Mowbray, I'm joined by Sue Smith in the commentary position, and we've got action coming up from Seri BKT. How do you see this one going, Sue? Cheers, Guy. Well, I'm sure both managers will have given them the final instructions. Go out and give it their all. Hopefully, that'll be enough for a positive result. I'm looking forward to this one. This is how the hosts line up. Yeah, it's a 5-3-2 or a 3-5-2 if you like. The midfield will be flooded when they've got the ball, but then the wing back should drop off when out of possession. It's just whether they can get up the pitch consistently enough to help provide the width to their attacks.
Here's the Sampdoria team sheet. It's certainly a 3-4-2-1 formation, and this can be quite balanced with the three central defenders, the two holding midfielders keeping it quite tight at the back. But then when they go forward, you've got the three attackers and the wing-backs joining in as well to cause problems. Play continues as the ref lets that go. Decent chance this, and it's a decent stop by the goalkeeper. Good vision. Well, here's the replay, and it's a nice through ball to split the defence. And what a finish. He goes for power. It was never in doubt. He just looks so confident running through. And on that whistle, the first half comes to an end. Well, he's certainly been influential in the first 45 minutes. What have you made of his performance, Sue? Yeah, I think he's had a really good first half. Not only his goal, which he took well, but his overall performance. I'm sure he'll look to continue that in the second half. Having a look. Well, he's kept that out nicely. Could be dangerous. And it's not missed by that much. Well, that's not far away, is it? It's a good effort. They've just got to keep going, and I'm sure they'll get the equaliser. Now there might be a chance to level things. They could level it here. And still the chance might come. And it's saved, and the danger is now over. Well, you can see how pleased he was to get hold of that after what was a superb first save. It's good goalkeeping, that. The fans are trying to push the team forward and get an equaliser. The crowd urging him to shoot, and that is a quality bit of goalkeeping. Need to get tighter here. Options available in the middle. Picks out a teammate. Brilliant work by the man in goal. That's a top stop. And the corner is fired in. Oh, against the bar. And that one is got away. And it's all over with the away fans able to celebrate the win and the three points. It was a real hard-fought game. Both teams showed moments of quality. They worked hard, but overall, they'll be happy with the result and the performance. Well, he's put in a more than satisfactory shift over the course of the game. What's your assessment, Sue? Yeah, his performance was good. Crucial goal which gave them the lead and the belief to then go on and get the result. He showed quality throughout. This was one of the games uh, in the start of the season. I was a little bit worried. Cremon is away, but we managed to get three points. Uh, but <laughs> I gotta give the credit to another good game by Lagumina. The goal he made, absolutely. But um, yes, the rest in the goal, he saved us this game. Cremonese deserved to score, uh, I gotta say, with the chances they had, but we managed to keep uh, the goals away from our goal, and uh, that led us to win, so uh, the defense still working, uh, yeah. even you could think that, the, like we talked about, the centre-backs a little bit older, maybe not the most ex spectacular ones, but they do the job, they are Serie B defensemen, so three points, uh, we are really Good in the start, uh, better than I thought. Uh, actually, uh, we have found the gem early, so 
Yeah, six game played in Serie B and we have actually won five of them. So um, looking good, but can we keep this up? I hope so, I hope so, but uh, I don't know, are, you, are, we, are we really ready for Serie A push? We have to see, we have to see, but I like the way we are playing now. <laughs>